and it's vlogmas day two so first of all i hope you're all okay i hope you're all having a lovely wednesday so far um i'm just moving out the way because i feel like i've been sat oh, at that side of the sofa for like the majority of the day so i'm just gonna come sit over here for a sec basically all i've been doing today is working so you know nothing too exciting but life is about to get a little bit better okay now gonna be a little bit of a race because by the way i'm full-on supporting the pineapple head today because i just genuinely can't be bothered with my hair um so yeah it's gonna be a bit of a race this evening just in terms of i really need to go to m s to get some food for my dinner and then i also really want to go to poundland and then i also really want to go to costa coffee but the problem being they all close at six well costa coffee and poundland close at six m s doesn't close till half seven but i need to have obviously done my food shop before i go to costa and it's now 10 past five so i need to get a bloody move on so i'll see you all when i'm in the car and actually at the shops because if i carry on chatting we'll never get there and they'll all close so i'll see you there they actually have loads of stuff in poundland look at these cuties and i've got them in store they've also got some polar bears I really like these crackle jars as well and the little trees and those baubles are really cute to see me for most of this journey but I'm absolutely roasting. M&S was really really busy and Costa was dead but I was literally in and out so. I did get the goods from Costa because I got a Terry's chocolate orange hot chocolate. They're just amazing and she had no medium cup so she had to do it in large so she was like probably got a bit extra. Like well it's Christmas after all honey you know but a bit disappointed because it's not a Christmassy mug costa you know but anyway i'm on my way home now i've got some delicious food from m s so i'm so excited to get home and have my tea i hope you all have these like crazy moments where you literally think oh my god i've got nothing to eat in the house and then have to go on like a mad dash and i do apologize because you can barely see me so i will speak to you when i get home at my loves just so that you don't have to put up with pretty much pitch black on your screen right now you know so you want to get home okay my loves we're home with as nice costa see what i mean it's just an an ordinary but you get a little terry's chocolate orange so if you're not in the uk and you don't know what costa coffee is it's like the most incredible coffee shop ever and they do terry's chocolate orange hot chocolates they also do after eight hot chocolates and the purple one from the quality streets so i'm trying to think of other than my hot chocolate let me show you what i got so so in poundland i just needed some more like little gift stuff um for when you wrap in presents so i've actually got a hamper to wrap 
um, but it doesn't come with a bow it comes with like everything else so it has like the basket and then the shredded paper and the cellophane but it doesn't have like a bow or anything so I thought I would get a bow to go on it then I also picked up three of these and they're exactly the same they're just snowflake present wrap and um, present toppers so you just attach these to the presents um as you would like a normal gift tag so you can have that and the gift tag basically for brad's wrapping this year i'm doing it just different to what we have for everyone else's um so i'll show you more of that when i do my wrapping um just so it, i explain it a little bit better now my battery light is flashing so i'm going to try and go through this as quick as i possibly can now from m and i got the smooth cream of tomato soup for my tea tonight so i'm going to have half of that tonight and half of it for my lunch so I bought two of these, so I could have one tonight and one tomorrow with my lunch as well. And then for snacking on, I got a tub of watermelon and it had actually been reduced by just over a pound, so that was good. And then I also got some milk chocolate gigantic buttons because did you go to m and if you didn't pick these up? Might not even eat them tonight, but they're good to have in the cupboard. And then I also picked up some sausage rolls so that we've got them um, like in the fridge. We've literally got no food whatsoever at the minute. And then to go in the freezer, I picked up these deep South Cajun chicken tenders because they are gorgeous, but they're freezable. So I'm just going to literally shove them in the freezer to have another time for another tea. Yeah, that's my little mini haul. So I'm going to go and drink my Costa coffee whilst I heat up my soup because I'm absolutely starving. absolutely delicious if you haven't had soup from Marks and Spencer's before then it's definitely worth a purchase and like I said you can split it into two so I've obviously had half for my tea tonight and I'll have half for my lunch tomorrow and it was just so bloody lovely I absolutely loved it like who normally raves about some soup for the tea strange yeah even though I was in such a rush when I was on my way to the shops I actually got home and sat down eating my tea just as it turned six o'clock which I can't actually believe like how did I go from how did I get there go to three shops get home make my tea and sit down all in like the space of under an hour I just I don't even know how that happened but it's bloody good going so as I sat down and started eating my tea um, my first Vlogmas video, which would have been yesterday's episode, uh, yesterday's video actually went live. Um, so I was just checking to make sure that that all went through smoothly. Yeah, so the way that I'm filming this is I film like a day ahead. I know a lot of other people have filmed quite a few days ahead, but with the way things have been going, I wanted it to be more relatable. So if we, if like the restrictions change and things like that, I want to be able to change my Vlogmas ideas with the way that the restrictions go and things like that so yeah I am sorry for my appearance today by the way I'm very much aware that I look like an absolute pineapple head um but yeah it's just the way it is I'm afraid so yeah because obviously I'm filming a day 
behind. I'm basically I'm getting up super early in the morning to edit and upload my video um, so that it goes live at 6 p.m. of that evening. So like today's video, I will be editing first thing tomorrow morning and then uploading so that it goes live at 6 p.m. when you're watching it now, hopefully. Today is technically the 1st of December as I'm filming this. So there's a lot of other people's vlogmases going live on YouTube. So I've just got Ellie Darby's up on my laptop screen. So I'm just going to have a quick watch of that because I love her and Connor, Herbie and Hector. Yeah, they're like my favourite couple duo on YouTube. I love them. They're so funny. And Herbie and Hector are like the cutest dogs ever. So I need to clear up the kitchen because I've made a right old mess making my soup it's just gonna be a bit of a chilled relaxed evening i know like many other people there isn't a lot of kind of things to be doing and because i've already done the decorating i've still got loads of presents to wrap I've got christmas cookies to be made and all sorts but a lot of my evenings in the week are very chilled and i just like to make them as kind of like as festive as possible so like going to Poundland and looking at all the Christmas stuff and in m and I know I didn't film it but it's just because it was too busy but um there was all their like their Christmas party foods and things like that and doing just stuff like that just makes me feel really festive especially on nights when Brad is working late and it is just me on my own until he gets home I do find it quite therapeutic to just get out and go somewhere so whether that is just one of the essential shops that is open just for you to have like a little bit of a browse around i think it's good for your mental health just to get out so yeah even though i needed to go out to get some food for my dinner i do also think i do also think it really helped just going around even though it was only poundland but poundland have some really good stuff if you go to one that's got a pep and co um inside it then they actually have some really good Christmas decorations. I don't think there was that much in the one that I was in, but they still had all them like penguins and polar bears and the little like glass Christmas trees and things like that. And obviously I got some present wrapping stuff as well. So yeah, it was quite nice just to get out and go into like a normal shop and felt like as if it was normal times. Let's go make a start on tidying the kitchen up. <laughs> got our first Christmas card through the post today but the thing is we can't suss out who it's from which is a little bit annoying it's one of our neighbours and they've put their number at what number house they're from but it's not a very clear number like you can't actually understand what number but thanks to whoever you are for our first Christmas card. Putting it through the letterbox and it's actually reminded me that I need to get on and get mine written. So I think that's what I'm gonna actually do now. So we're gonna go in the living room and get right in the Christmas cards. I've had them for absolutely ages, to be honest. They've all been sat waiting to be written on. And there's just, there's so many. So many to get written and row and write and blah, 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 blah. So, Brad's also been and got us some gel pens. This is a, ooh, this is a gold one, so I'm gonna use that as well. So let's go set up some sort of like cozy vibes in the living room, and then we can get right in our Christmas cards.
everyone it's now like a couple of hours later so i've written on all of my family's christmas cards so i just need to do the rest of my friends and like my neighbors and things like that before i finished um but i'm gonna do them probably either tomorrow or i need to just i definitely need to get them done this week because i don't personally feel like i don't see the point in receiving christmas cards right as it gets to christmas i broke another nail by the way whilst i was writing christmas cards how that happens who knows um yeah i don't really see the point in receiving christmas cards like on christmas day or even after because a lot of them are gonna be recycled or put in the bin like in a couple of days after so i like to get all of my christmas cards out at the beginning of december so i've written all of my families so i can literally go and either post them all tomorrow meaning like hand post them through the letter boxes um because they don't live that far away from me um or i can just hold on to them until the weekend and do like everybody's at the same time so depending on what i get time to do tomorrow will depend on if i can can get them um, delivered to everyone tomorrow or not but yeah this is your reminder if you haven't already get your christmas cards bought if you haven't and written and delivered asap because nobody has christmas cards up like throughout january a lot of people take their stuff down like literally as it gets to january and if you've given out your christmas cards at christmas like on christmas day or just after whenever then they're not going to be out for very long very little point in giving them out to people at on christmas day and after so yeah this is your reminder to make sure you've got your christmas cards written and delivered by the end of the first week of December, okay? But anyway, I'm gonna eat my watermelon that I got from M&S, and I've just made myself a cup of tea in my little merry and bright cup. This battery is now also flashing red, so I'm gonna go ahead and conclude the video there, guys. I hope you enjoyed Vlogmas Day 2 with me. Um, just quickly nipping out to the shops, making some tea, and basically writing my Christmas cards. As exciting as my evening has got today, to be honest, there will be loads and loads of more fun things to do throughout the days of Vlogmas, so I will see you all tomorrow. Thank you so, so much for watching. I love you all, as always, and like I just said, I will see you tomorrow. Bye!